Okay, so now we're back over in the computer. I forgot to mention at the start of this video. This probably be the start of this video, um, just to show you. Um, but just listen to this part very carefully before you actually skip this part, because please do not skip this, or your custom bit logo will completely fuck up. So first off, you go back to your JTAG while well, your JTAG slash RGH. Um, so first off, you need to go, which I've got the folder there. But first, you have to go to your fake anim.ini, which is the one that's on the root of the RGH, not the one that's in the folder, the one that's in here. So double click this and make sure you have the delay to 10 seconds and your collaboration to zero, which means if you want it to be red, it will show up red. The number one is red, zero is black. See where it went from the normal logo to the custom logo? That bit like in between is black and then it goes to your logo so just have it black um, if you want but I have mine black so just go to here uh, the one is in here and this one is in the actual folder which should be there too okay so that's all you do is just just make sure these two here are completely different make sure this one's zero or one if you want a black go for one uh, black for zero red for one um, but make sure your ti time delay is 10 seconds because if you have anything lower it would just crash so just make sure it's like 11 10 or 11 and and you're completely good to go so now watch the next part uh, for um, for you to install the the fake anim so Okay, here's the normal logo and here's the custom boot logo. Okay, so now you've seen the custom boot logo. That is, um, so I'm going to show you how you actually do this is uh, just go to here and follow my instructions. Just go to your XX menu very quickly okay so let's head over to XX menu uh, okay don't sign in though remember don't sign in as soon as you click on XX menu so okay now head over to your HDD and there should be a folder right there called fake anim um, this is it, this has already been installed, but you would not see this. Um, but so I'm just going to show you the files that is in my console um, right here. So we've got these ones, those two files in there that will generate itself, and the jukebox folder that's where your video is going to go for your custom boot logo. So, and there should be another two files on the hard drive, which is in the root, no hard drive, and uh, uh, no folders, just in the hard drive itself. I'll just scroll down to it just now, uh, right there. Um, there it is. So you got the XX and the dot I and I for the things to actually make it run and work. So now I'm gonna go back to the computer and. Uh, and uh, when I click the XX for the alright so when I click the XX I was meant to say click the XX and it will load a custom build logo but now I'm gonna go over to the uh, the computer and show you how you install so, it. So where are now over on the computer so now, since we're on the computer, we just jumped from the Xbox to the computer, um, which you've seen that custom boot up logo. I'm going to have my own custom boot up logo. See the one you've just seen there? I'm going to change it up completely. So first, you, all you got to have is Xbox 360 neighborhood and an RGH. It um, doesn't matter if you need a stealth server or not, it's just going to do that anyway. You can have multiple videos, like make sure it's a dot M W a WMV file, or if it's not, a WMV file then you can't really make it work um, it's it's just it just doesn't so I have the files here so these two files I'll leave these files in the description where you can download um, I'm not gonna leave a download to the my video 
um, right there. Um, obviously, because it's mine. Um, but uh, this one right here, um, these two has to be on the root of the heart, uh, the root of the RGH. So um, open up the fake Anum folder, and then once you've done that, then you go over to Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Uh, I'm gonna put that to that side. So I'm just gonna delete. Well, I'm not actually gonna delete them, but I'm just gonna place them back in and show you how you how it's done. Um, so you just put these folders in, I guess, right? So you put these two files, drag them in, say yes to all. But don't copy this, but just take this folder and drop it in, say yes to all. Once you've done that, and then it should load. Um, there you go. So first off, I'm going to quickly change the, the video to um, a completely different video than it was before. Um, so there's the video there. Make sure you copy the text as well. Uh, X blue Xbox 360 dot WMV. So I'm going to quickly go and get my video uh, that I want. So just bear with me. So now since I've got the actual download. Okay, so the one I picked is the evil laugh. This is the one I'm going to put on to my RGH. So we're going to delete this one out of here, um, which you would not have one there. Um, don't worry about the um, that file there is on the the folder is already going to make that file as soon as you do the first boot up. Um, so, just waiting for it to transfer. There we go. So we got the evil laugh. So once you put the files on, everything, uh, when you go back a folder, make sure there's nothing in here besides the jukebox. But this, these two files will automatically do it itself as soon as you um, reboot your console. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's all you gotta do and just go back to 360 neighborhood and just reboot your console and I'll see you guys on there so yeah I'll see you guys on the Xbox okay so now we're on over on the Xbox here's a normal logo and then here's the evil laugh the one I changed myself so here you go enjoy <laughs> <laughs> okay so there you go now there's the evil laugh um, you can just keep changing the video file just keep changing it and uh, for to get a different bit logo whatever you you can put anything on there like no joke um, so there you go now that's it done so yeah thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video please l give it a like and a comment and a subscribe if you have any errors with this happening please contact me in the links in the description with my social media I have my Twitter down there and my Instagram down there if you really 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 need help and I can't sort it please contact uh, I need to contact you on Skype or Discord and we can screen share and I'll show you how you do it or we can do it over team viewer um, if you don't have the download to the team viewer I'll possibly leave that down in the description too um, so I'll give you like a whole entire folder in the description like a whole entire folder like of boot logos that I've made uh, that are pretty fucking dope and shit so if you want any of those just go to that one and just download it so I hope this video really helped you out with your custom boot logo. Um, I have not done one, but I've, there is other people have done them out there, but they didn't like go into depth with it, depth. Uh, but which I have done. So hope this video helped you out. Um, if it did, leave a comment and a like. So and also while you're down there, giving it a like, hit the subscribe button and the notifications. Because I'm going to be posting a lot more videos. Uh, I'm going to be posting some stuff. But I can't stream till the 8th of September on YouTube. Very fucking close. I fucking can't wait to stream on YouTube. Like, no joke. I will be streaming more. And the quality will be a little bit higher. Since I got a, like, a fast enough computer to actually run this stuff. Without it lagging. Because I'm using the... Uh, the... 
this new computer. Um, so, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye.